Alrighty, hey guys. Happy Easter to those that are tuning in. Um, yeah, as I posted earlier on my Facebook page, I am doing an uh, Easter themed pour today or painting. Um, so it's going to be a different type of pour than what I normally do. Um, I have done something like this before. If you've seen my unicorn painting, um, I did the same technique with it. So I'm doing a funnel pour, but I'm going to move it into the shape that I want. So I've got um, a 12 by 16 can artist loft canvas here, and I've got a secondary um, 12 by 16 artist loft canvas that I'm going to be doing a different painting on as well, um, just to kind of have some fun. Uh, again, that one is also going to be a funnel pour painting. I'm just doing a couple of those today. And then if we have time at the end, um, I will also do a leftover paint pour. Because um, I have some paint left over from last week's live stream. And then, um, oh hey, how are you doing? And then I also have some paint um, left over. Or I might have some paint left over from today as well. So that's what we're doing. This funnel has ribbon on it for whatever reason. Let me get that off real fast. All right. I might not use that one. I might have to use my smaller one isn't a big deal. I just have paint left in it that I'm going to have to peel out. So oh, there's resin in that one too. What did I get? Oh, that's where it came from. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm doing good. Are you having a good Easter so far? Alright, I'm going to move my secondary canvas out of the way. So colors today, um, I've got my Craftsmart white because I'm running out of my Artist Loft full acrylic white. Um, I've got the Craftsmart white mixed with um, base, Liquitex Basics um, Dioxazine Purple. So we got this nice pastel -y purple. Um, I've got this Art Minds Decor. It is Antique Aqua. So that's this minty color here. I've got my Artist Loft Full Acrylic mixed with yellow and white here. So a nice pastel yellow. Um, same Artist Loft Full Acrylic. We got the hot pink and white mixed together for a pastel -y pink. And then I just got some of the plain dioxazine purple from Liquitex Basics. Yeah, so far my Easter's pretty good. I was just playing video games with my uh, parents and siblings. Or my dad and siblings. My mom's at work. So we were having fun with that. Um, but yeah. So my other colors, I've got uh, Craftsmart Brown. And you might be wondering what I'm going to do with that. You will see in a moment. And then I've got... Art, Art Minds Metallic Gold. Oops, camera's up here today. And Deco Art Dazzling or Deco Art Metallics Copper. So, gold's here, and copper's here. And then for my next painting that I do, I'll go over those colors in a moment. Um, I've also got for this painting here for our background color. We've got Artist Loft Full Acrylic Blue mixed with white. I wanted it to be lighter, but as I said, I was running out of white. Pretty much out of white at this point in time, so that's fun. All right, so let me move these cups over here for a moment so we can get this canvas better in the camera angle. So I'm going for a butterfly here today, and I'm using silicone. So I'm trying to get some fun cells and stuff in here. So as I said, if you've seen, where'd we go? Where'd we go? There we go. 
<laughs> I've got my camera up on a tripod today, so we are having fun with that. All right, so there we go. So as I said, we're going for a butterfly today. Um, and if you've watched my unicorn one, uh, that's how we're going to get there. Sorry, blurry. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. All right. I think we're ready to rock and roll. So we're going to do the background color first. Got my handy dandy spreader here. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Don't get too confused by all the fun stuff and bring it onto the camera. All right, so my base color here is a little bit thinner than the rest of my paint. I don't know if you can tell, but it runs off a lot smoother, a lot faster, and it's thinner than the others. And that's kind of what you want when you're doing something like this with the funnel. Sorry, guys, I don't know why it's going in and out of focus like that, but hopefully I can get it figured out and fixed. As I said, this is the first time I'm using the tripod, so that probably has something to do with it. Um, but, you know, I'm learning as I do these, so we're, I'll figure it out, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're going to do the background color with this. And if I have enough of this, I'll use it on the background as the other. On the other painting. Which it looks like I might have enough. So the point of this background is so that the paint will flow hopefully underneath it and do some fun stuff, uh, cell-wise and just look kind of cool. This is more like an electric blue than it is the pastel blue I was going for. Oh well. It's a nice bright painting for Easter today, so. Okay, let's see. Might need a little bit more paint on this corner here so I can get that covered nicely. I'm also low on flow troll, so I wasn't able to make as much paint or the colors that I really wanted to use. So, kind of making do with the colors I had, which is alright, it's not a big deal, but hopefully I can get some flow troll this week so I can make some more paint because I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty low on the paint I have going on right now, at least for this type of thing. We might, I might do a watercolor or something next week, we'll see what I do. I don't even know what I'll do. So, I want to get my sides, but this is not the best thing to do that with. So, I'm going to grab my handy dandy paintbrush here, and I'm just going to get the sides real fast. I know I'm not going to cover the sides when I tilt this. In a little bit so I just want to do it now so I don't have to do it later and mess up whatever I do on top of the canvas. So yeah as I said on my Facebook page I was helping my church do uh, some live streams this week for Holy Week and uh, that was that was a lot of fun. I was um, called the director today so that was kind of cool. <laughs> wasn't expecting that but um yeah it was fun and I think they went well I don't know if any of you have watched it but um if you missed out on going to mass today and you want to check something out um St. Daniel's Parish is where I was at and what and uh where we did our live stream today um you can check that out here on YouTube if you would like to get your little mass in because I know can't really do that in person right now so all right there we go <laughs> I'm looking at my laptop as I get this centered so <laughs> sorry about sorry if I get out of the center up here I'm doing my best here all right so 
First, I want to do um, the butterfly's middle. And we're going to do that with the brown, copper, and gold. Or maybe just the brown and copper. I might save the gold for little touches in the wings for a little fun there. <clears throat> so let me grab one of my little cups here. I have three different sizes of cups. I have three ounce cups, I've got nine ounce cups, and I've got 16 ounce cups that I use. So I'm using my little three ounce cups because I don't need that much. All right, so we're gonna put in some, but I'm gonna layer in the brown and the copper here in this cup. And this is off camera, so let me. Clean cup, move down. We'll do a little splash of gold into here. So that hopefully it'll tie in with the wings a little better. And I don't need a lot of paint here. And I'm going to take a clean popsicle stick and I'm going to do a little swish in my cup to kind of swirl those together a little bit. I don't want to mix them together, just swirl it. And I just remembered I have this silicone funnel that I can use for the head and body. All right, so we're going to put this against the canvas like that. And I'm going to pour the paint into the funnel. Now I'm going to slowly lift as I pull the funnel down. There we go. I didn't use any silicone with this. We're gonna use silicone on the wings. All right. So there's that. Let me get my torch real fast, which I just had it, and I told myself, don't misplace this because you're gonna to want to use this. All right, torch this real fast. All right. I'll try to stretch this a little bit that way. A little bit back towards me. All right. There we go. I also need to figure out the lighting back down here because I noticed there's a big shiny spot here. So you can't see it as nicely, which kind of sucks, but I'll figure it out. I promise, guys. All right. <clears throat> So now I'm going to add the silicone into my other paints. I'm going to push that forward a little bit. I'm going to do one, two drops of silicone into each of my colors. And I'm going to mix it in really well. Um, the white, I'm going to put um, about four drops of silicone just because there's more paint in that. Because I will be using that in the next painting as well. So the silicone I use, and you can use any type of silicone, this is, let me see if we can get this up here for you, treadmill belt lubricant. You just want something that is 100% silicone, and that's what this is. I believe Artist Slop also makes, um, also sells its own silicone as well. That was not dropped. Like a drizzle. All right. One and two and two one and two one two one two. That one might have gotten three. All right. So now I'm going to mix these up really well to get that silicone incorporated. I 
I'm not going to add any to the gold that I'm going to use because uh, metallic colors do cells pretty well on their own. So I don't need to worry about that. Ideally, you guys will be closer to the table when I do smaller paintings so you can see better. When I'm doing a larger piece, it's kind of harder for you to be close, but we will try. All right. We'll finish getting the silicone mixed in, and I will get my cup ready for wing number one. All right. over a little bit so you can see what I'm doing in this cup. So this is the cup we're filling. And I had an order. I'm just going to add a little bit of paint at a time into this. I don't think I need to get this that full. Well, I know I don't need to get this that full. But, um, yeah. more of each color. Oh, I went out of order on that last one. Oh, hi, Aunt Heather. How are you guys? All right, so now I'm gonna do the wing. So we got this cup full, ready to go. I'm gonna put this right against the body here. And I'm just gonna pour the cup in. I'm just gonna do kind of a tree ring as I pour it in. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. But... And I do know I skipped the gold. Lift up as I pull around. There's wing number one. As you can see, silicone really helps the cells pop out. Well, maybe you can't see. <laughs> I'll bring you guys down so you can see it better at the end. There's that so far. And it does look like I'm going to have some paint left over here, so... Let's get this next wing ready. I want more purple in this next wing. I don't really care if they match. So I'm just kind of add a little bit more color to this one. I don't think I'm going to put any more white because that's a very white wing there. And I will torch before I spread anything out. But I want to get this other wing in before I do that. All right. So now we're ready for the next wing. I'm going to go up against the body again and pour this paint in. Right. 
There we go. There we go. There's that one. That one's got more pink in it, though. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to torch this wing first. So I kind of want to blow this wing out a little bit here because it's kind of close. So I'm going to plug in my hair dryer real fast because I have it here. And I haven't actually used this before for this, but I've seen it used before. So I know what I'm doing kind of. So uh, it's going to get loud here for a second just because of the hair dryer. There we go. That got it more of what I wanted it to be there. So there we go. I'm going to kind of tilt that wing a little bit real fast. Got to be careful with how much I tilt because I don't want to mess up this side of it. I just want to fix that wing. All right. So I'm going to grab a stick real fast and I'm going to come up to the ear, uh, the top of the head here. I'm going to make the antenna. I just start inside there and I just kind of pull it out. That made some pretty cool antenna there, I think. There we go. So this wing definitely has more of that purple in there that I wanted. You probably could tell that I wanted a lot of purple since I had two different purples, but there we go. More of what I was going for there. All right, so there's the butterfly. I will. I'll bring it down for a close up at the end because I don't want to get the tripod covered in paint. So I'm going to set this aside so we can do the next. Oops, sorry. So let me just move my cups out of the way. And we're going to add these colors. Well, we'll wait. Because I don't know if I want to add these colors to this particular cup of leftover paint. So we'll just move these over here. Need white for the next piece. I need this one over here. All right, so butterfly is going away. 
We will see him again. So we have my next one here. Again, this is another 12 by 16 canvas. There we go. All right. Uh, the focus. There we go. All right. So my original plan for this background color was going to be brown. And you can see why I don't really want to do brown for a background color because I don't think it'll look too good, but I might just do it anyways, just to test it and see what happens. Cause I like testing things. So we're gonna do it anyway. And we're still out of focus. There we go. That's better. All right. So I'm still going to do Brown cause why not? All right. So here we go. I'm going to get my, well, one minute. I got to clean off my Dusty dust trunk handy dandy trowel here. AKA my paint spreader. There we go. So that's ready to go. Now we're going to put some brown on this canvas. And this brown is really thin. So I know it'll work nicely for this. I'm just actually going to empty this bottle on here. And you might ask, why do I have brown mixed up for this? Well, sometimes you want some brown when you're doing a more earthy toned piece. I've also considered using brown for uh, doing a horse type painting for, with this type of style, like I kind of did with the unicorn, but it would be different. Let's get this covered all the way. Maybe I didn't have enough brown for this. <laughs> oh well. I had a little left in this cup here I can add on to, which we probably will do. Because it does need a little bit more. Try not to hit my butterfly over here. It's the one problem with doing two large paintings at a time is you kind of don't have a lot of space for it. And I should have been smart and set up my drying table, but I didn't. So, because I was just so excited to start painting, so I just did. All right. So that's as good as I'm going to get it with that. I'm going to grab my other paintbrush here. It doesn't have blue on it. Which is also bigger than my blue one. And just cover my sides real fast. Being careful not to get the blue off the table there.
You can also go back when it's dry if you wanted to and cover your corners. I don't like doing that. I just like getting it done. Oh, I got some white. Whoops. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. All right. So let me get my... Yes. All right. So I need to wipe out my funnel real fast. Get this paint out of here. So for this one, I've got my Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, red, blue, and yellow. So primary colors here. And I'm using white. And again, I will be using silicone in each of these colors. Just trying to... I need to wash my other two uh, funnels. <laughs> if I had known that, it would have been done by now. But I didn't know I had to do that, so it wasn't done. All right, there's a little paint left in the bottom of this, but that shouldn't be a problem because we're kind of doing rainbow here. All right, so I'm going to angle you up a little bit while I fill this cup. Now you can see my dirty, dirty apron. Not dirty, paint covered. All right, so let's get our colors over here. White. And we're going to add... Ha, I just had an epiphany. I'm at the top of you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to add... Uh, we're going to do one drop into each color. This time around. Because that has a lot of cells over there. <laughs> Got to mix it in really well. And I'm actually going to grab one of my 9 ounce cups to pour these into. Because I'm going to pour them all into the same cup. And then get, move that out of the way. Grab one of my bigger cups. Alright, so we're going to start with a little bit of white. Which I'm going to stir this again. Just to make sure that silicone I already have in here is well mixed. And if I haven't said it already, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And I do have a video, a very first video I did that tells you how to um, do all that. Mix it all. So I'm going to follow the red with some yellow. And then the yellow with some blue. So I'm going for a rainbow here. So I'm going to put some red right on top of that blue. Go in with some more white. And this is kind of why I wanted the bigger funnel. <laughs> so I'm going to repeat those colors. Yellow. Blue. And red. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the red in there. That's empty, and I like orange, so we're going to put the rest of this yellow in here on top of the red there. And yes, it's okay that this one's full. I don't mind if I go over the edges with this one, because I'm just going to kind of have fun with the funnel here in a second. The silicone helps uh, make the cells. So when I get you down closer for the close-up, I'll show you what I mean. And I can also show you one of my paintings that um, doesn't have silicone, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, and maybe, hopefully, we will see it a little better with this one. I didn't realize with so far away that you guys are right now that you can't see the details as well. All right, so we got my cup ready to go here. I'm going to angle you back down so you can see a little better.
All right, so we've got the cup ready to go. I got my funnel here ready to go. And I'm just going to start up over here at the top. And I'm just going to pour it into the cup. While also being careful to not get anything on the butterfly. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth in a line here. So I'm going to add some more paint. A little bit of clean. And pause, add some more paint. I don't know if you can start kind of seeing the rainbow popping up in here, but hopefully. And I know I'm not making perfectly straight lines. I really don't care. Perfection isn't necessary when it comes to art. All right, I think we're going to fill this cup up or the funnel up one more time, which means I have leftover paint. <laughs> Happens a lot. I even started making my stripes a little closer together so I could try to use all of this, but oh well. Wait till I bring y'all down to, to see what's happening here. So this is pretty cool. Let me do that for you in a second. Okay. We're getting down to where all my white was. So this might look pretty sweet. Put the rest of the paint in this thing. I'm just liking how it's looking right now. That's why I'm still going. <laughs> I should probably stop because there's plenty of paint on this canvas, but I'm having fun. And that's what it's all about. I have a feeling that's going to look really weird, but I did it, so. All right, there we go. I'm going to torch this real fast, and then we're going to move it around. And uh, torching it, if I haven't said it in this video yet, um, it helps bring up the cells, especially with the silicone, um, but it also helps pop those pesky air bubbles that pop in here, especially when you do something like this with the funnel. You're going to get those um, pesky, 
has the air bubbles. Oh, that was so fun. I got little rainbow colored dots on my butterfly painting. <laughs> After I said I was going to be careful not to do it, I went and I did it anyway. Oh, well. All right, so now I'm going to move this around a little bit just to stretch out these cells a little bit. And there's a lot of paint on this canvas, so I got to I gotta move it off. But I kind of want to keep my stripes there, so we're going to kind of move it to off the top and bottom. And when you use silicone in a painting, you also have to clean the silicone off when, before you can seal it or anything. So the best way to do that is rubbing alcohol. Um, and I will do a video on that probably next week or whenever this is ready to be uh, finished, we'll do it. Because it is an important part of, um, you know, taking care of your paintings and stuff. You want to seal them. You want to make sure the paint is not going to go anywhere. Not going to fade, all that fun stuff. And you can use anything to seal, like um, spray. there's sprays that they make. There is um, Mod Podge you can use. I've used Mod Podge before. It works just fine. Um, you could also use resin. I have used resin on a piece before. And it, it gives you a nice shiny coat. So. Just trying to get this off the uh, bottom corner there. Uh, to you guys it would be your bottom right. I'm trying to get this paint off. And the reason I'm trying to get some of this paint off of here is because it will not dry right if I leave this much paint on the canvas. So, as pretty as it was, I do have to get some of the paint off of the canvas. Alright, I think I'm happy with that, although I do need want to bring this back this way a little bit. I definitely, brown was definitely not a bad choice for the background. It's kind of helped some of these colors pop out a little bit, I think. I don't know, you can tell me what you think about it. <laughs> torches one more time and there's some fun cells in here I don't know if you can see but all these like little like bubbles that you can kind of see from the far way view here is what I'm referring to as the cells and I will bring you down and I will show you and um, I've got the big uh, green painting we did last week um, without silicone uh, then in the tree ring style so I can show you the difference between using silicone and not using silicone. So we're gonna bring the camera down to give you a guys a close up of both the butterfly and this random striped rainbow fun thing. Bear with me for a second, it's gonna shake and move a little bit. I got you. We're going to come over here. Alright, so here's Mr. Butterfly. We're going to come down close so you can see. So these little circles and stuff in here, those are what I'm referring to as cells. So this is his right wing. 
cat. So you can kind of see his little antenna in there. There's other one, and here's his body. So that's kind of cool. I like the little gold accents I got in there. And then here's his left wing. That's got more of that yellow and, or not yellow, pink and purple in here. I like his left wing better than his right wing, if I'm being honest. Alright, so there we go. There is the butterfly. Now we're going to go over to the striped rainbow we mess. So, let me do a close-up. So we're down here. So this is from my point of view. You guys were at the other side. But this is my bottom right-hand corner. And I don't know if you can see all those fun colors in there. So the white section, you can kind of see this darker purple and like pinkish combo. Let me see if I can get in. And I really like that. I think it looks really cool. And then you kind of look in between those two lines where I first started and you got the nice yellow and blue in there. And then we kind of come down and you get some oranges, more purple, some greens and turquoise. All the way down to the bottom here. Or this would be the top left corner from my side. It was the bottom right for you guys. And then, I don't know if you can see this little cell in here that's got some orange in there. I really like that one. That one's really cute. Cute. Pretty. Alright, and then back over to the middle here. So, there's the striped, weird mess that I made, but I like it. So, <laughs> I'm cool with it. And uh, now you're going to walk a little bit with me. Unfortunately, I'm holding the camera, so you got to kind of deal with the little shaking happening at the moment. And... Sorry. All right, so this is the one I did last week with the, the greens and the tree ring pour. So that's the difference. You see that there's not as many cells in this when you don't use silicone. And the silicone, as you can see from this one, blows up the cells. And that's what I was going after with this, too. And then, I'll also show you guys the one that I did with the flower thing in the middle. Because it's dry now. So there you go. So here's that dry. It kind of looks like a butterfly to me. That's kind of what inspired today's pour. But yeah, so that was um, today's paint pour, Easter paint pour. Still holding the camera, sorry. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this, make sure you press that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and ring that bell for notifications for more videos and more lives that I do. Um, if you want to keep, you know, if you want to update or a forewarning on new videos, um, Follow me on Facebook as well, Metho Hippo Arts. I'm there. Um, and you can also see my completed work and stuff. I post that on there um, whenever I have something completely finished to show and uh, sell. There's also um, my uh, page if you want to purchase one of my pieces or maybe um, commission a piece. Uh, check out MythoHippoArt.com. Um, I will put a link for that in the description when I'm done with this video. But yeah, check that out. And... Um